Baby, all I want for Christmas is you. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Franny and today is day 5 of Vlogmas. I was tagged by Kira at the Book Bella to do the All I Want for Christmas book tag, so without further ado, let's get cracked. Question 1. What character do you want Santa to leave under your Christmas tree? I'm gonna go with a character from a TV show and if you guys watched my booktube giving tag you know what character I'm talking about it's Miles from God Friended Me just he has a smile that would be more than enough to light the whole Christmas tree and let's just say that that's the only reason why I want to find him there question 2 what character do you want to kiss under the mistletoe? Ooh. See, question above, and this might also be the reason why I want to find Miles under my Christmas tree. It might be. Um, question three, you write your Christmas list for Santa. What are the top five books on top of your list? I'm not gonna tell you that now because I'm naughty. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you because I plan on doing a video about the books that I would like to find under my Christmas tree. So that is coming, stay tuned. Question 4. It's Secret Santa at Hogwarts. What do you want to receive the most? I am really into sweaters this Christmas, so I would love to receive Mrs. Weasley's Christmas sweater. Question 5. You get to spend the day with the characters and movie adaptation actors from one fandom. What do you pick? I'm gonna go with the Sherlock Holmes books and movies and TV show adaptations. And yes, that means not only Watson and Sherlock Holmes, but also Robert Downey Jr., Jude Law, um, Benedict Cumberbatch, Martin Freeman, and the actors from the elementary TV show, whose names I cannot remember right now, but I want to spend Christmas with them as well. Question 6. What fictional animal would you like to replace Rudolph and meet you on the roof? Does Winnie the Pooh count? As a fictional animal because technically he is a fictional bear so it should count I'm just still thinking about the Christopher Robbins movie it was just too good and beautiful and I loved it so much and I'm still thinking about it and I'm still thinking about Winnie the Pooh and I just I want to hug him I want to hug him and he He's fluffy and he's fluffy and big. I mean, he's big and fluffy and cute and he should smell like honey. Question 7. You invite 10 fictional characters to your New Year's Eve party. Who do you pick? I would love to have as guests the characters from the conventicle in A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. I can already imagine their banter during the Christmas dinner or lunch or whatever and I mean it's three witches, three vampires and three demons. Th that's a good party. Eight and final question. What character would make a good Senna? Once again, I'm not gonna go with a book character because I just couldn't think of one besides Dumbledore. So I chose a fictional character from a TV show. I don't know if you guys remember this because it's quite old, but there's a TV show called Numbers. The first season aired like 10 years ago or something like that. And the father of the two main characters, Alan Epps, he was played by the actor Judd Hirsch and I think that he would be a perfect Santa because he was always kind and nice and welcoming. He's old, he's smart, he always gives advice but he's never intruding or imposing and he could also be a little bit mischievous, like he liked to play some practical jokes and stuff so I would, I, I can see him as a Santa, I can definitely see him as Santa Claus. Short and sweet, that's a first. So I'm going to tag some people now because let's just spread the Christmas spirit. I'm going to tag Library of Alexa, Always Doing, Caffeinated Reads, 
Wuthering Reader and The Page Turner. If I haven't tagged you but you still want to do this tag, please feel free to do so and let me know in the comments so I can come and check your video out. Or if you want to answer to these questions in the comments down below, you can totally do so. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Warm hugs!